Hi. In this video, we're going to talk about the probability distribution of the sum of two dice. Now, since we're trying to find the sum of two dice, I need to know those outcomes. So I would set up a probability distribution table here, and I would list off the outcomes for the sum. But you know what? At this point, I don't know what they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the sample space of just rolling two dice, and we'll see from there. So over here, I have a table set up that's going to help me create the sample space for rolling two dice. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to pair up in each cell, you're going to pair up the numbers. So in this one, it's going to be 1, 1. And then this one would be 1, 2. So we'll call this die 2. And this one over here will be die 1. So then this will be 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, and 1, 6. And then you'd move on and you then do this row, which would be 2, 1, okay, and so on until you finish the table. Now that we've completed the sample space for rolling two dice, uh, let's figure out what type of sums we can get. So if we start with the two smallest numbers, uh, the one and the one, we can get a sum of two. So that's one outcome. Uh, here you could do a sum of three, sum of four, this will be a sum of five, sum of six, and sum of seven. So we got three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, let's see, do we have an eight? Yep, we have an eight, which is right here. We'll have a nine, a 10. Well, basically, if you can check this, but we'll have all the way up to 12, which we get when we, we roll a six and a six. So let me scroll down a little bit. Let's add in the eight, the nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, so this would be the sum column, and this would be the probability. Okay, now all of these are going to be out of 36. So we just got to figure out how many ways can I get a sum of 2 and then divide that by 36. All right, so you can see here we can get a sum of 2 right here. and no other place, so the probability would then be 1 out of 36. Okay, so where do we get a sum of 3? In these two cells right here, notice that if you were to add up these two, you'd get a sum of 3, and so that happens two times, so the probability would then be 2 out of 36. And then we would look, like we would look for the sum of 4, and then a sum of 5, sum of 6, sum of 7, and then just repeat this process until you find all of them, when you are all the outcomes that add up to 12. So then we'd have 8, which then be 5 out of 36, 9 would be 4 out of 36, 3, 2, and 1. Now that you have the probability distribution table uh, created, we can do some follow-up questions such as what's the probability of summing at least 7? Okay, So that would mean what's the probability of getting a 7 plus the probability of getting an 8, 9, probability of 10, 11, and 12. And that's going to equal 21 out of 36. So there you go. That's the probability distribution for the sum of two dice.